Greetings, everyone. I received my PCBs and my mixers, and I have some additional stuff that I gathered, and I'm now ready to put the things together. I'll obviously be starting with the frequency tripler for the local oscillator. Uh, I've already started, actually. I soldered the two pipe cap filters on the opposite side, so filters are done. And I also purchased some uh, copper screws, a set of uh, three millimeter uh, copper screws. It's the equivalent of 440. Um, the reason why I bought three millimeters is um, from China. It's much cheaper to get copper hardware than it is here from North America. So um, I decided to order straight from China and three millimeter is really the equivalent in terms of size. Uh, so um, I've already uh, soldered nuts here on the top and the two uh, pipe caps and I'm ready to uh, start uh, putting all the other components in place. I have the discrete like capacitors, resistors and stuff like that. Those I have. What I was missing is the MMIC amplifiers the NLB310. I got 20 in total, uh, so I'll have some spares. And that's the reason why I also bought two mixers. Normally one is enough for this project, but if I transmit too much RF power into the RF port and I blow up the double balance mixer, well, I'll have a spare one. <laughs> that's the reason why I bought two. Um, so what else? Well, I have several SMA connectors. Some are of the cheap grade if you allow me to say so um, those you buy from china for a dollar or less per, uh, per piece uh, are considered cheap the consensus is that they're good up to about six gigahertz but they don't cut it completely at 10 gigahertz so for anything lower like if uh, uh, 3408 megahertz uh, for the yellow and those things these ones will do but I have some better ones uh, for uh, 10 gig. Uh, these ones are a higher quality. And uh, they're also of a type that can be mounted on a panel. So this will be useful to go through uh, the box, which will contain the different elements. It will be several uh, different boxes. And these have a long thread and uh, they have a nut. So uh, that will be helpful. Uh, the other, uh, and uh, of course, since I started on pipe cap filters, I prepared the extra four pipe cap filters that will be uh, required on this uh, board, the uh, transverter board itself. And so they're already uh, threaded and uh, ready to go. I have 25 pipe caps, decided to buy a whole bag. So um, I'm good to go with these. I even bought some three quarter inch pipe caps, larger ones, in case I need to add a filter on 3408. Uh, I can build one if I need to. And I also ordered some screws and nuts for the three quarter inch pipe cap filters. Uh, it's uh, four millimeters as opposed to three for the 10 gigahertz pipe cap filters. And the other thing I got is this PCB again from W1GHZ. It's a IF output for the FT817 radio. It will tap off the IF signal, amplify it, and send it out of the radio. And this allows you to look at the RF spectrum on a computer using an RTL SDR or other types of SDR dongles. The FT817 radio does not have um, a pan adapter, if you like, so spectrum display with waterfall. But with this, you can have a computer sitting next to the radio and you'll be able to see the stations, you know, pretty wide. And that is a, a neat addition to the FT817. Got that also. In the lot of PCBs I ordered from W1G8Z, I also got this PCB, which is a universal MMIC uh, amplifier board. So 50 ohm in, 50 ohm out, and supply to the MMIC, which you installed somewhere in the middle. So just a small board in case it's ever needed, an extra amplifying stage, for example, this will be useful. Next job, 
put this thing together because I really want to wrap up the yellow before I move on to anything else. So I will assemble this board and show you the end result. Now an update on two more things. First, I did cut off the shield on the side of the dish and it worked well but it took at least uh, I'd say 30 minutes to go all around and uh, get rid of the, the piece and then I finished it off with uh, some uh, steel wool and a file just to make it a smooth uh, edge and the job is done for that and the other thing I did is I ordered a, a tripod that's a surveyor's tripod it was on sale here in Canada, so I ordered a sturdy tripod to mount the dish and the system. So I will be ready uh, when the time comes uh, to uh, deploy in a rover situation using that tripod. It's not the lightest tripod, it's not the smallest tripod, but it's sturdy and that's what I wanted. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up. I'll say see you soon. 7-3.